afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a great day today. As you guys know, my name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I am reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Tuesday, October the 23rd, 2012, and here is today's midday market update. I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading since we're basically getting smashed across the board in all asset classes here. We have the, um, obviously, except for... Um, Obviously, except for the TLT, the bonds, which are up a dollar fifty-one. So, anyways, here we have the Dow Jones down two hundred and twenty-eight points. The Comp is down twenty-seven and a half. The Russell is down eleven. SPX, the S&P Cash Index, is down twenty and a half. The Banking Index is down a dollar. The Oil Index is down thirty-five. Um, FXC Euro is down eighty-one cents. Dollar strong today. Silver is down. 53 cents via the SLV. JJC Copper is down 66 cents. Uh, gold's down. GDX is down $1.24. GLD is down $1.86. So it's basic, and the USO is down $1.05. All right, so basically selling across the board. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I haven't read any news articles of what triggered this, uh, what triggered the selling pressure aside from, I believe, some banks got downgraded um, in Spain. I believe I saw that on Benzinga.com. Either way, I mean, we sold off overnight. Came into the market with, you know, as you can see here on the ES, which is a 15-minute chart on the left-hand side. You can see here we came into the into the market already down about uh, 20 handles or so off the highs. I mean, yesterday when the market closed around 6 o'clock or so, we were at a high of 14.34. Woke up this morning, and the market opened up at 14.12. So came into the market with already 22 handles down. So it's kind of tough to go short when you see that. Now, I'm not saying that we didn't make any money today because we did make some money today in the early morning as we had some nice trade call-outs which we called out in our chat room. If you have not been to our chat room, my chat room is mywallstreettv.com. All right, password to login is smart, but you need to go register on the website. To go to the website, you go to wallstreettrading.com, fill out the form on the upper right-hand side, and you will, you will get the password and email sent to you and everything else that you need. So let's go ahead and take a look at the market here. 15-minute chart of the ES, what we're looking at right now. You can see we opened up. The selling pressure just continued. We were opened up, and we were below that 8 declining EMA, pretty strong, turning down pretty strong and uh, below the declining 20 EMA right here on the 15. And now we're trying to get some traction. See, we do have a little bottoming tail right here on this 15-minute candlestick. Put a little higher low in that causes a little spike up. But really, we go if we zoom into our 5-minute chart now here, as you can see we were able to identify a nice little upward channel that's going to be in play now. You see, we really can't get bullish on this market in that sense of, okay, yeah, the bulls are going to try to gain back control of this market really until we get back above 14.11. You can see we got rejected at that level right there pre-market. All right, sold off a little bit, tried to rally up, got rejected, put a little topping tail in right here, and that's when we got smashed, rallied right back up, put it high end, gave us these three points, which allowed us to draw this nice little upward channel that we're using as a gauge now and as a roadmap. If we can hold above the upper part of this channel, like so, then that would be good if we break above 14.11. Now, if we if we just continue to trade this little channel, then we could be looking at this as a bear flag as we had this nice little selling pressure come in, nice little upward, uh, upward uh, bearish channel that could be in play off this downward movement. And we could be looking for a crack in the afternoon. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Um, we did have some levels to watch in the market this morning. I gave out these levels in the morning. Uh, 1411 was a pre-market low. Then we talked about 1407.50 as the next support level to watch. You can see we bounced right near that. We bounced right off that level at 940. Next support level we gave out as support three this morning was 1402. Guess what? We bounced right off that level as well, 1402. Next level we have as support if we break below 1402 is 1398. All right, and uh, if we break back, if we break back below 1398 right now, that would mean we'll be moving down 20 more handles off of where we currently are trading. All right, actually not 10, 20 more handles. Sorry, 10 more, 10 more handles off where we're currently trading back to the downside. So a pretty volatile action. I guess the uh, the volatile index, the breakout that we called out on Friday continues to remain in effect here as the volatile index levels continue to remain elevated. We do have the VIX here at, uh, let's see here, let me bring up my chart. Where's my thing here? One second, please. We do have the uh, volatility index right now is currently trading at at uh, 1895. So going to the afternoon session, want to watch this channel. If you guys watch the ES, you guys should have this channel on your charts. Because if we break the bottom of the channel, we can move, move back down towards the lows. If we consolidate up in this channel, we start breaking above and holding above the highs, we can maybe try to make a move higher, maybe back up towards the open price. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go take a quick look at some of the stocks we were watching uh, this morning in the chat room. 
Let me bring my screen up here. All right, one of the stocks that we were watching in the chat room this morning was uh, Amazon first. As, and the reason why I've been watching Amazon was because if you – all right, I've been highlighting this in my in my uh, in my weekly my daily videos here that Amazon is uh, in this nice little band of support on the daily chart as you can see here I got my daily chart right here and it is in this nice little support band okay zoom out real quick for you guys sorry about that so I mean in this zone you can look for some scalp opportunities to the long side so this morning Amazon started showing some relative strength let's take a look at the five minute chart Amazon started showing some relative strength this morning while the market was kind of trading weak was only big cap technology company stock that you know that I like to take a look at and see how it's doing especially since it's down there's this range you can see once it got about back above 232 it made a nice little rip up to the top side we gave that trade out to our traders in the chat room um, another trade that we called out was Riverbed RVBD all right let me bring this move, move this one right back down here and move back to my other chart excuse me all right, another another trade that we caught out this morning, which we tweeted out on the stream as well. And if you're not following us on the stream, you can follow us on um, at Wall Street Trade W A L L S T Trade, and you can follow me at Ask Chris He Trade. That's basically A S K C H R I S He as in hero, E as in Edwin Trade. All right, and let me bring up the uh, other chart here. B B B Y, not B B B Y. Excuse me. Riverbed was the other one that we called out here for a long side. Let me take off the after hours pre-market studies on here and you can see what it was doing when the market was trading sideways to well when the market was trading lower this morning you can see riverbed was holding up pretty strong here it has been a strong stock since it gapped up from the earnings i believe the other day there yeah well from the earnings the other day notice how it was holding above the open in price which is what we use for another gauge's relative strength if it's above the open and the market's below the open and trading lower it was holding above the open price kind of flagging off here off this little extreme little candle we could put in once it really started trading back above yesterday's open in price, which is this yellow dotted line as here, it was already above today's open price, got above yesterday's open in price, got above yesterday's close. That shows you that this stock should have some positive order flow. Volume, I wouldn't say really volume kicked in here, but moving average started trending up, and we started seeing momentum coming on the tape. Volume did kick up right here, though, and um, that's when it really got that nice little move up. So that was a nice trade. We called this one out for long at 23.09 once it started hanging above these moving averages and above previous day's lows, previous day's open. The close, the opening price, this shows you good indicators for positive uh, order flow, especially with the market trading week. So that was another awesome trade that we called out. Some traders were able to participate on that stock by buying the uh, 2350 call options, or some traders just like me just took the equity long. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys are having a great uh, trading day. Be careful with this market. It's pretty volatile. I am kind of I am kind of mad that I was not able to um, profit on this little downdraft that we had. But, hey, what can you do? The market gap down 20 handles plus on the ES is pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty tough to get short with that action right there unless you saw this relative weakness, which this was another shorting opportunity right here. But at the same time, our game strategy was today was looking for long, looking for stocks that were showing relative strength. And so I believe we're still in that little buy the dip environment. All right, so we'll see how it plays out. Just be on top of your toes. And um, that's about it, guys. Have a great trading day, and I'll catch you guys later on today for the After the Bell Market Summary. Peace.